Have you ever wondered what could possibly shake up the electric vehicle industry so much that it sends shockwaves across the globe? Toyota's CEO just dropped a bombshell that might just do exactly that. Toyota, the auto giant that we all know and love, has unveiled a game-changing innovation, a carbon-negative engine. But wait, why would Toyota, known for its hybrid prowess, suddenly pivot to this carbon-negative engine? Great question, and trust me, the answer is mind-blowing. So here's the lowdown. It comes packed with features that could make even the snazziest EVs blush. Toyota didn't just unveil this carbon-negative engine on a whim, nope. They put it through the ringer, testing it in not one, but two race cars. And guess what? The results were off the charts astonishing. Why is Toyota seemingly throwing shade at EVs? Are they trying to start a car war? Well, not exactly. Our buddy Koji, the CEO of Toyota, has a vision. A vision where people aren't shackled by range anxiety or exorbitant price tags. Koji and his team are hard at work, crafting this carbon negative engine of the future. And if all goes according to plan, it could spell doom for traditional EVs as we know them. While other car companies are feeling the burn from the EV investments, Toyota came out swinging, with something truly out of this world. Let's rewind to 2023 and the Super Tax series is heating up. Two Toyota cars fueled by this carbon capture engine line up against a pack of AMG GT3s. What happens next? The real reason behind Toyota's venture into this carbon-negative engine territory goes way beyond just winning races. Now comes the GR Corolla H2 concept, a prototype straight out of a sci-fi movie, powered entirely by carbon capture technology. Toyota didn't just stumble upon this idea yesterday, oh no, they've been on this journey since 2014 and let me tell you, they're not just twiddling their thumbs. This engine isn't just running on regular old gas got a little trick up its sleeve, a system that captures carbon dioxide straight from the air as the car zooms around. This car isn't your run-of-the-mill racer, it's got a secret weapon under the hood. We're talking about special filters and a nifty fluid, all working together like a dream team to snatch CO2 right out of the air. Here's how it goes down. The car's got not one, but two filters doing the heavy lifting. The first one swoops in and grabs CO2 from the air, right as it's sucked in for combustion. But that's just the beginning. The second filter, strategically placed where the engine gets hot and bothered, releases the CO2 it captured into a recovery fluid as it heats up. Now here's where things get really cool. This whole setup is a marvel of engineering because it doesn't need any extra energy to get the job done. Yep, you heard me right. This isn't just about being eco-friendly, although that's a big part of it. Toyota's carbon capture engines are all about performance. They're not just sitting pretty on the racetrack, they're putting these engines through the ringer, testing them in the toughest conditions to make them better, stronger, and ready to conquer the open road. We're about to take a ride down memory lane and see just how Toyota's alternative fuel journey has been shaping up so far. It's been a whole decade since Toyota launched the Mirai, their hydrogen-powered gem onto the scene. Sales of their cars have skyrocketed by a jaw-dropping 166% worldwide. In just nine short months, sales have shot up by a whopping 22%. And if that's not impressive enough, how about a jaw-dropping 77% surge over the last six months alone? Toyota isn't content with just playing the game. They're here to change it, my friends. They've set their sights on selling a mind-boggling $200,000 carbon capture-powered vehicles, targeting none other than Europe and China in the year 2024. Toyota's been making moves behind the scenes, working hand-in-hand -hand with gas stations all across the US, integrating carbon fuel lines. Unlike those pesky EVs, where you're stuck twiddling your thumbs waiting for a charge, you can fill up your Toyota with hydrogen in under two minutes flat, right at your neighborhood gas station. Just a few months back, the engine could do a respectable 16 laps around the track before needing a refuel. Fast forward to now, and we're talking a whopping 20 laps. That's a mind-blowing 25% boost, which in racing terms, is like hitting the jackpot. Even for entry-level hatchbacks, we're talking about some serious cold storage action. Imagine if Toyota decided to slap this engine into a sleek sedan or a rugged SUV. We could be looking at numbers ranging from a cool 800 to a mind-blowing 1,000 miles on a single tank. 
Now let's address the weight. Even BMW took a swing at it, but fitting massive carbon capture tanks thick enough to keep things colder than a polar bear's toe doesn't exactly scream lightweight, does it? They've whipped up their own tank, crafted from a nifty composite material that's nearly 150 pounds lighter than traditional tanks. Toyota's big boss, Akio Toyota, aka Marizo, when he's tearing up the racetrack, took this bad boy for a spin, and the results were nothing short of spectacular. Clocking in times that will recall two seconds faster per lap compared to earlier this year, it's clear that this baby isn't just for show. And no, it's not just because Marizo has been practicing his driving skills, though we are sure that helps. Now let's talk about the heavy hitters, the high performance cars that are about to hit the streets in 2024 and 2025, powered by none other than carbon capture combustion. First up on the list, we've got the Toyota Hilux Carbon Capture Plus. This engine's set to revolutionise the game, with Toyota developing a carbon-enabled model of the Hilux right in the UK. What's the plan? Well, they're aiming to integrate a fully integrated fuel cell powertrain into the Hilux platform, utilising second-generation fuel cell components. And get this, the vehicle will feature the same drivetrain as the Mirai, Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell superstar. Prototypes are slated to hit the production line in 2024 at Toyota's UK facility in Derbyshire, with a rumoured range of 750 miles and a price tag just under $40,000. Toyota's been teasing us with some juicy details about this engine, with a displacement of 1,618cc and an inline three-cylinder turbo with an intercooler. This has got power written all over it. Toyota's not jumping on the fully electric bandwagon just yet. Instead, they believe in a more balanced approach, one that gives consumers the freedom to choose what they want to drive. Now let's dive into battery technology. Despite all of the advancements, EVs still seem to be dragging their feet when it comes to mileage. Sure, some top models boast ranges over 300 miles, but let's face it, not every EV can keep up. And that leaves folks worried that they'll be stranded in the middle of nowhere, miles away from a charging point. Speaking of charging, buckle up for the saga of the poor charging infrastructure. Finding a charging station can feel like a treasure hunt without a map. And even when you do stumble upon one, it might be in use, out of service, or just painfully slow. Let's talk about raw material scarcity. Crafting an EV isn't just about sleek designs and electric motors, it's about the guts, the batteries. And these power packs rely heavily on materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. These materials aren't just lying around waiting to be picked up, they're finite, hard to extract, and often found in parts of the world where mining them is tangled in environmental and ethical controversies. This scarcity drives up the prices of batteries and consequently EVs, making them a pretty penny to invest in. While it's not all sunshine and rainbows, there's no denying that we're on the cusp of something big. With each hurdle we overcome, we're inching closer to a future where clean, sustainable transportation is the norm. Ah, the affordability drama. While there are incentives and rebates trying to make EVs more accessible, the hefty price tag still has many shoppers breaking out in a cold sweat. And let's be real folks, Toyota knows a thing or two about making affordable cars, so it's no wonder they're not jumping headfirst into the EV frenzy. Taking a step back to observe the market dynamics, Toyota's noticed a troubling trend among EV makers. Demand isn't quite meeting supply, leading to unsold inventory and desperate price cuts. The higher production costs compared to traditional internal combustion vehicles. We mean, just look at Ford reportedly losing a whopping $36,000 on every EV sold. From hybrid vehicles to plug-in hybrids, battery electric vehicles and now carbon capture engine vehicles, they're flipping the script on what we thought was possible. And let's talk about impact, because this isn't just about saving a few dollars. It's about revolutionising the way we think about transportation. Imagine slashing our oil dependency and kicking that nasty habit of metal mining to the curb. No more costly EVs with carbon everywhere, easy to store, easy to source, it's a no-brainer. Toyota's already on it, testing a water-cooled beast of an engine and teasing us with carbon-powered hot rods that'll make your heart race. So what's your take on all of this? Are EV owners happy with their rides? Or do you think having more options is the way to go? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.